So Richard, uh, you've brought in Ian Millwood for next season. Are you happy with the, the appointment you made in the end? Yeah, it was a very thorough uh, process actually because of the quality of the applications. Uh, a lot of high profile uh, coaches applied for the job and uh, you know that was good. And uh, obviously it has taken probably longer than we would have liked. Uh, but in the end, we think we've got a quality coach, and we're sure he's going to do a good job for us. You've, uh, you know, you're officially uh, going to be in charge of the Tigers next season. How do you feel? Yeah, really excited. It's a obviously a club that's uh, got some vision off the field where they want to progress, and obviously underpinned with some really great young players. So, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully educating them and, and, and helping their progress, and also helping some of the really talented players they've got in their organisation. Did it take some selling to you or is it kind of you jumped at the chance to come in? No, look, I was really impressed. Uh, I first met um, Richard Wright and then I, I had a good talk with the board. I, I liked, liked the board's uh, honesty and also liked the, the way they, uh, you know, they were a real rugby league community. Uh, we actually, it's quite interesting, we did, uh, we shook hands uh, as, as, uh, as a group there with the four board members. So, um, you know, they outlined where they, they were moving. And obviously with my background in regard to uh, where I first started with Illawarra, uh, with, with the youngsters, and then obviously progressing through to uh, Super League and NRL, um, you know, they were looking for someone experienced. So, you know, I think it's a, there's some exciting period of time. Uh, obviously the club's still developing. You know, I'm very appreciative of uh, the job uh, that the previous coach has done, Terry Matheson. I think he's, he's done a great job and uh, I respect him for that. But obviously uh, it's... It's a, it's a new era, uh, probably on and off the field over the next three years. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, the, there was 21 people applied and uh, we, we interviewed eight in the end and probably six of the eight, would I would say, will do a very good job for Castleford Tigers. So we had to do more and more research to try and find uh, the differences that uh, we, we, you know in the individuals to make sure that we got absolutely the best man. And at the end of that process, the, uh, the best man was Ian Millward. I'm guessing uh, Richard set you some targets. Um, have you got any targets of your own that you're going to be you're going to be throwing it throwing out there to the players to try and achieve? Oh, look, I'm not a big one on setting a target. We've we've got to do this and that. I think most important thing is to become consistent in what we do at training and and the way we, we want to develop our structures uh, with with hard work and and obviously uh, getting consistent. You know, rewards come. Uh, I think it's most important that we embed the way we, we want to play. Uh, obviously, you know, um, a lot of factors will, will play a part in that. So. Uh, um, you know, we, we, I don't want to be, we equate on, you know, the, the amount of wins. And what we've got to equate on is, is the quality of our, our performance and quality of our preparation will determine a lot of that. Well, obviously, when you look at Castleford Tigers at the moment, um, you know, we've got, we're on the verge of a, a sort of a new era. We've got the new stadium coming up. We aspire to go to our highest level. We want to win grand finals. We want to win Challenge Cup finals. And Ian's got that pedigree. Uh, he's done that already with St. Helens. And, uh, and so that was a real uh, a key aspect to it. But also we've got a crop of young players coming through. We want them to reach their full potential. And again, Ian's um, probably done a lot more work since his St. Helens days with young players and uh, certainly in time at Lee. Uh, he got some great uh, references from over there from players who he'd worked with that, that were on dual contract and things like that. So he's worked with the junior players and bringing them through and teaching them how to play the game and the way he goes about his job. They were all the attributes really that t attracted us to him. And you've had a chance to have a sit down with Richard. It's probably still early days and you might not have discussed this yet, but is there, is there scope for bringing in a few players perhaps over the off season? Oh, look, you know, I mean, you know, there's, there's quite a few players already uh, under contract uh, for next season. So, you know, obviously that they'll be given the opportunity. Uh, there's a little bit of manoeuvre for some uh, additions, uh, but, you know, it's, uh, it's more at the moment what's available in the marketplace. Uh, you know, you'd like to get quality more than quantity. Obviously, the club needs to probably improve its depth a little bit. Uh, obviously, the forward area is an area that uh, has been vulnerable through injuries. But, you know, we've got to see uh, who's out there and, and, and what they're costing. So, yeah, th there is movement, uh, but, but to what degree will determine probably in the next month or so.